Welcome back to Glamour with Arena. Today, I'm gonna give y'all awesome nude, baby, cute, gorgeous type situation. Okay. She ready. Again, these lashes. Bomb. Cold blue. I see you lash lounge. I mentioned it in every video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful tutorial. And let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, and subscribe. And keep on watching to get this beat. Okay? Okay, so in my last video, we talked about the new mini Juvia's palettes. Well, I had some issues with the colorful ones, the berries and the violets. Um, but I'm going to try out the chocolates and the nudes palette today. So we're going to let y'all know if it's just those that kind of was like, ee, or if it's all of them. And this is my opinion. So everybody else may love them, but I'm just telling you like all of my experience with their palettes. These were not as, they were so pigmented. They were just not as, uh, velvety and smooth. I like, you know, eyeshadows I could easily blend out. Not the ones I have to literally blend, 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 blend. And got your arm hurting and all of that. We ain't got time for all that. Okay, we do not have time. So, we're going to start with the brows. And I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with how I do my brows now. Um, if you see me looking off, in any of my videos, is the last time I'm probably going to explain it. But if you see me kind of like glaring off, I'm looking at my mirror. So can't do your makeup without your mirror. I have two mirrors. I'm using a Cracker Jack one and I'm using my lit up ring light mirror. So I'll be looking at two different mirrors. I may be looking over here, I may be looking over here. I'm not crazy. I just gotta see what I'm doing, you know, catch, catch the different lights, you know what I'm saying? So I always start with brushing my brows up, get them all going in the same direction. And I'm just using this broke down pencil. Um, it was a long comb eyebrow pencil, but I just like the spoolie on it. So I just use the spoolie. And then I'm going to go in with my long comb concealer brush, just a dual ended brush with the side where you can do eyeliner or the side you could do concealer. Looks like this for the number on it. I've had it for forever and a day. It's a number 13 in the long comb brush. So if you can go to any long comb counter, you know, I don't know if Ulta carries their brushes. I know they carry long comb products. I don't know if they carry their brushes. I know that all retailers do like your Macy's, your Dillard's, your Belks, all of them, they will carry this brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Born This Way concealer. And this is a um, super coverage concealer. And the color I use in this one is Butterscotch. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. So I'm just going to dot this underneath the brow like that. And then I'm gonna go in with this brush, that concealer side. I'm gonna trace my brows out. So I'm not gonna fill them in immediately. I'm gonna trace them out just to give them a clear, you know, just to figure out where my arch and everything is. And then I'm gonna go into my eyeshadow, everything else. And then I'll come back and fill the brow in and I'll show you how I do that. But I've been loving doing my eyebrows this way because I feel like I can see my brow better. I know that's weird. And you're like, what do you mean to see your brow better? I don't know. I feel like when I trace the brow out, I can see my brow a lot better. And you get like a clean look under the brow while you're doing your eyeshadow. And I just clean it up with my hand like that. Just so we don't have like super, super light under the brow. So 
so I haven't filled anything in yet. I literally just traced my brows out. So just clean them up underneath with a little bit of concealer just to get them to stand out a little bit more. And then we're gonna go into the eyeshadow look. All right, and then I'm gonna use that same concealer. I'm just gonna put it all over the eye, like such. Take a fluffy brush that kind of fits in my eye perfectly. And I'm just gonna blend that out. Y'all have this neighbor next door. Literally, they must have no one to watch their dog during the day because all you hear is ah, ah, all freaking day over it. I'm gonna take a little bit more just to put it in certain areas. I'm gonna dry on my eyelids for some reason. And I have a slight case of eczema. So sometimes my eyelids will feel a little dry and it will look a little dry. So I do moisturize my eyelids. I'm going to first go into the Anastasia Prism Palette. I know this is that velvet. This one came out probably about three, four years ago. It has that velvet uh, covering on it. So it gets dirty so freaking quick, but it was a beautiful palette. It's literally a beautiful palette. So I'm going to go into this color here. This color is Saturn. I'm going to use that one. And I think I'm going to go into Eden as well for a transition color. I'm going to take a tapered blending brush. This is the E40 by Sigma. I'm going to go into these two colors. And I'm just going to start the blend. Now always start on the outside and bring it into the crease, just like that. And I always bring it farther up and kind of into the nose contour. I'm just gonna dust that excess powder off from setting my eyelid. So, doing that. And this is just giving us a color to lay every other color down next to. Oranges for deeper skin tones are absolutely beautiful. Um, they're my favorite transition color. I love going into uh, a burnt orange. Like Saturn and Eden in this palette are beautiful. And I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. And I build color. So I don't go in with too much. So that's like a light wash of color. So I just go in with a little bit and then just build it up to what I want it to be. Like such. And bringing it into your nose contour just makes, it's gonna make your contour after everything is on. It's just gonna make your contour look even more natural. So that can be a tip for you guys. Okay, so that's my transition color. I don't mind my bags. I get enough sleep, but sometimes you, you just can't help it. Don't, don't judge me. So now we're gonna go in with the actual, only use that palette for the transition colors because um, these palettes don't have a orangey transition color that I like. So I just use those two colors in that palette. But now we're going to go into the Juvia's palettes. So we're going to first go into um, the chocolates. I'm going to go into this warm uh, cocoa, hot cocoa shade. I love it. It is so pretty. Um, I'm going to go reduce the brush so the brush won't be as big. So that one's kind of, you know, is a, I forgot the company I got. My Pretty Little Thing, I think. I don't know. I've had this brush for a long time, but it's like the perfect 
brush for like getting in that crease. So we're gonna go in with that hot cocoa shade, dust off the axis, and we're just gonna pop that right here, right into the crease area. And today we're gonna go full on all matte. So there won't be any shimmer in the eyeshadow look. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that we um, initially used for the transition just to make sure everything is blended in perfectly. Like that. And then you're gonna slowly just keep building color. Cause you don't want to go in too harsh because then you'll find yourself blending and blending and blending trying to get rid of the product that you tried to lay down that was too much so we're trying to keep from doing that today and we're going to blow this out a little bit i'm going to drag it outward just like that Go on to the other eye. And I always place most of the product towards the outside of the eye and then start to drag it in. So we don't get too much color here. We get most of the color on the outside. Like so. Like that so we have that darker color on the outside and then we're gonna go back in with that same brush that we used to do our to clean up our brows same concealer and I'm going to kind of dab this in this area I'm not really trying to create uh, a cut crease it may look like it, but we're going to take another brush. This is the large Shaper E60 brush, looks like that. And I'm going to tap to kind of blend it. I don't want it super, super harsh, but I just want you to see a little bit. The line of demarcation for when you cut the crease. So it's gonna be soft. Cause like I said, everything we're gonna to do today will be soft. Keep it nice and soft, just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the Nudes palette by Juvius, and I'm going to use a combination of these two shades. And I'm going to use a packing brush to do so. So this is a Morphe brush, and it's, it's thick and dense, and we're going to pack on color, okay? So we're gonna go into these two shades. And of course these are, again, they're flat matte colors. They're not shimmery. And we're just going to place this color where we um, kind of did that soft cut crease. And it's just gonna give it a soft look like that. Keep everything really soft. Like that. Do the same for the other eye. I already have um, bigger eyes, but who, want, who wouldn't want their eyes to look bigger? 
I'm just continuing to go in with those colors and build it up. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with that deeper brown shade that we were using for the outside. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to use this pretty caramel shade in the nudes palette. And I'm going to blend that chocolate and I'm going to use, I'm going to use that blending E25 brush. I'm going to go into this color. And where the cream and the chocolate meet, I'm right in the middle of that. I'm going to use this color to blend those together. And it's going to give such a beautiful, soft look. Okay. Right, just right here in this area. I'm not going any further with it. I'm not going above the crease. I'm staying right here. And I'm just slowly just shading in, just marrying the cream shade and the dark chocolate shade, just kind of marrying those together. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And you get a beautiful gradient look without it being harsh. But you still get the smoky on the outside. Now I'm thinking about adding a little bit more smoke. This is the MAC 217 brush. And I'm going to go back in with the chocolates palette. And I'm going to go in with this shade here. Just a little bit, just a touch. I'm not going overboard with this color. I'm just going to add a little bit on the outside just to deepen right here. So I'm just going to pat it right here on the outside. Just like that. See how I just deepen it a little bit more? And bring it slightly into the crease like that. So like I said, a little bit, like it's literally a little bit. And just pat it here on the outside and just bring it slightly into the crease. Yes. Okay, so this is where the fun comes in. Comes in. All right, so about a week ago, I was looking into some colorful uh, eyeliners so I went to Ulta and I bought the Vivid Brights liner. Two are Vivid Brights and one is just their white liner. But I bought a blue, a purple, and a white. I bought these three. So I'm probably going to use the white one. But I'm going to press some color somewhere on it. I don't know. Let's let's play with it. And I am a fan of um liners that's in a, that are in a pot like this. Uh, this is my favorite all-time liner, my holy grail, the Maybelline Stu Eye Studio in Black is Black. I get it from CVS. Um this is my favorite liner and they do have these in different colors now, I believe, but um I'm a fan of these. I just like to work with a gel and with a brush. I'm just a brush girl with a gel. But um, we're going to see how I like this liquid because it's a brush like this. I'm just going to see how I like it. Now, I'm not going to get really, really close because honestly, I don't play with liquids too much. Um, but if I mess it up, y'all already know I'll just cut it out and switch and do something different. Like I am known for doing that. So um, I'm just going to wing this out, I think. Um, trying to figure out if I want to ruin the look or not, y'all. Like, y'all ever get scared when you do a makeup look? Like, oh, it's so pretty. Do I want to ruin it? Or, it, I mean, I can make it bomb. You never know. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. So, I'm going to really be looking in my mirror because I need to get really close. I'm going to be looking in both of my mirrors to make sure. Okay. So I drew a line. <gasps> okay, so. Okay, 
Tell her I was drawing the wing. Let's drag it in. And I may feel like I don't like using this kind of liner because. These wings may be friends, but they're not sisters. So, let me know if y'all like these liners. I feel like I won't really know until I wear it and see how they wear because I like a liner that's going to last me all day because if I ended up touching my eye with the Maybelline Studio on, literally, it doesn't move. So that's what I like about that. Okay, so we're looking real crazy, but I'm going to tap color onto the white liner. So I'm going to go in with that beautiful caramel shade that we were using. I'm gonna use a flat brush like this. I'm going to go into that color and I'm just gonna tap it onto the white liner. So now we're giving the liner color. Now I'm just tapping this in the middle And key, wait till the eyeliner dries because I just had an oopsie on this eye because it wasn't dry yet. Um, this eye was dry. This one's still drying. So let the white liner dry down and then place color on. That's just in the middle. And I'm thinking about putting the chocolate one on the outside. So I'm gonna go back into the chocolates palette. And I'm going to use the same brush, but I'm going to go into the cocoa shade, not into the darker shade, into the cocoa shade. And I'm just going to place that on the outer wing. I'm just going to press it because I'm going to clean it up with concealer. So we'll get rid of the excess pigmentation later. Okay, so what I'm seeing thus far from this liner is it cracks. So I hate a liner that continuously like kind of cracks and I'm looking at it super close. But if I wanted to, I could probably flake the liner off and I don't really care for that. So um, y'all may be like, man, she's harsh on all these products, but I like what I like. So I'm gonna go in with a dark eyeshadow color and I'm gonna kind of trace on the outside of this wing. I'll go back in with those two nude shades just to make sure they're still the highlight of the video. So the eyes are done. It's different. We're gonna rock with it and we'll see how it may show up in photos. But all right, so what I've been doing for a while, I have been using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealers as my foundation, which I have been loving. Um, I'm using two colors. I use deep sand and I use deep. So I mix the two. 
So I always just stripe it on. And this one is the deep sand. This one is the one that's closest to my skin tone, but it is a little, a little too dark when everything is like dried down and blended out. But when I tell y'all, this gives me the most perfect makeup application. And I still use foundation, but when I find something new, I OD on it. So I'm just going to stripe a few of these onto the face. So I'm mixing the two because one's too dark and one's too light. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my Morphe flat kaboo like foundation brush. And I'm just going to staple that on, kind of like just stifle it onto the face without smudging it or kind of blend, like going in circular motions. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of that deep concealer and just kind of sweep that under the eye like that. And then put a little bit here, here, and down the bridge of my nose. And then right here on my forehead. Now, while that's doing that, I want a long lasting makeup application. So I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I'm going to mist my face. All right, and then I'm gonna let my concealer dry down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whew. I'm gonna let my concealer dry down a bit. And um, that's just so I can get more coverage underneath the eye. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna go in with my favorite contouring stick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick in the color Espresso. And I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones. I'm in the process of losing weight, so I have to like, you know, define my jawline. If not, I look real chubby in the face. So, all right, then I'm gonna go with my beauty blender, which is damp, and I'm just going to blend out that concealer that I put underneath the eye. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with another concealer. I know I use a bunch of concealers, but um, since the whole face is concealer, it just doesn't get cakey like if you put the concealer and foundation and concealer and just packing that on. So this one's Butterscotch and the Born This Way Concealer. And this is lighter. So this is what's gonna give me a highlighted look. And I don't use too much of it, just a little bit like that and then i usually let it dry down but for the sake of time we're just going to press it on in and put it on my beauty blender and I don't bake anymore. So I start from the inner corner of my nose and then blow it out and I'm pressing it in as I put it on. And that just is gonna help your concealer last all day long. 
and not crease. Take a little bit and put it on my forehead because usually my forehead and my nose will be the first things to get super, super oily. Contouring palette, and this is from uh, Black Radiance, the True Complexion. I use the same one in every video. These two, I go into the contour and the sculpt. I get my contouring brush. This is the Sigma Large Angle Contour, the F40. I go into those two shades. And I just kind of warm the face up. I'm gonna take a smaller brush, something like this. It's like a little small eyeshadow brush. Go into one of those shades and kind of follow where I already started my contour with the eyeshadow, which is a it's a it helps because it's the guide. That's where your nose contours are. I already have a small nose, so I don't really contour my nose too much. So you see, I have put a little bit of powder on the middle of my nose just to make that um, stand out. And then I just, just brush it away. And so now you have like a cute little button nose. Kind of put a little bit of these colors at the bottom of the eye. I'm gonna go into the chocolate palette, that hot cocoa color to that shade. And we're just gonna fill in or shade the lash line just to give the eye a little bit of depth. Smokes the under eye out. And then now I'm going to go in and fill in the rest of my brows. So I'm gonna brush them up again. I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in the color chocolate. No, this is in the color dark brown. So I usually wear my dip brow, my gel liner in the color chocolate, but this one's a little bit deeper. So what I do, I'll just trace out the bottom. Like that okay and then once I do that I'll start hair like strokes going upwards and this just gives me a more natural brow which I've been liking lately because the dip brow can sometimes be a little harsh now I still do like the dip brow because it keeps my brows in place but um, I've been using this lately and I've been liking it So it just depends on preference, whatever you guys like. Um, I've used pencils before, I use gels. This one is really, really good as well. Oh, she snatched, honey. And then I'll just go in with that same little broke down old brow pencil with the spoolie on the end and just kind of brush through them to give me a natural look like that. So no biggie, super simple. And I have a video on how I do my brows, but it's not with the brow wiz. It's with the Anastasia dip brow. So if y'all want to see a video on how I do my brows, with the brow wiz, just let me know. I'll do a video on that for you guys. And just so you don't forget, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And leave me a comment below on what you liked and what you may have not liked or what you wanna see. Just let me know because I'm here to cater to y'all, okay? Still do go in with a little bit of 
the deep sand that's the one that the concealer the tart concealer that's closest to my skin tone and i'm just kind of mix it with a little bit of that butterscotch and then kind of lightly trace under the brow bone of my brow not the whole brow just slightly under the brow bone just to bring that highlight back to the brow bone like that and then i'll just find All right, so that's for the eyebrows. And then I'm going to put my lashes on, put my mascara on, and then we're gonna come back and then I'm gonna show you the lip combination that I'm gonna do. And we're back and we've added our beautiful ICU Lash Lounge lashes. Literally y'all, I've had these lashes for probably, or I've been wearing these lashes for since before Christmas. So about th two, in almost three weeks that I've been reusing these lashes. These are in the style code blue. Y'all better stop sleeping on these lashes and get you a pair and visit iculashlounge.com style code blue or any style you may like. And I added some highlighter and now we're about to go into our lippy shade. I'm going to use the Suede NYX Lip Liner in Cold Brew. And I'm just going to put this on. The beautiful um, cocoa color liner. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the NYX Soft Cream in London. Looks like that. Hey, that's how it looks with um, no gloss on it, but I like a little bit of gloss. I'm going to add um, the NYX Lingerie Gloss and Bear With Me. I love their NYX's lip gloss, lip glosses, lingeries. I love all of their lip products. And I'm just going to put this on the lips. Because I'm extra, I'm gonna take their butter gloss, butter gloss, and cream brulee, and I'm just gonna place this one in the center, like that. Well, that is the full face for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, to see some some tweaks that I've done to my um my color routine, my face routine, um, because usually I'll use foundation, but this is a close up. I put a little bit of purple in the inner tear duct. Oh, these lashes, love, 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 love. So we're gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you what I think about the new. Okay, so I put a new lip on. The nude was cute, but I was kind of feeling a little vampy with this eye. Since I popped that purple in the inner, the inner tear duct, I was like, why not put on a cute little purple lip? So I'm wearing Punk by Kylie Cosmetics with the lip liner Vintage by NYX. Super cute. Super comfortable on, is which is what I'm loving about these. This is the first one that I've had by her, and I'm loving it. So I think I'm gonna go order some more of these. These are good. Um, so I feel different about the nudes. I absolutely love the chocolates and the nudes by Juvia's. Um, they're much more creamier than the violets and the berries. So I'm loving these. So I told y'all I would go and try these out in my last video and come back and tell y'all what I thought about them. Love. Okay. So I'll be featuring those in my videos from now on um, with other looks. I know I keep playing with my hair. I absolutely love it. 
I um, wand curled it and I put these cute little pins, little cute little gold bronze bobby pins in my hair. Love, I'm feeling like a goddess, like a goddess, yes. But anyway, thank you guys for coming back to my channel to glam with me. Um, I had so much fun with you guys today. And if anything you want to know about this look, just let me know. Leave me a comment in the box below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And add me on my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Facebook. I think I said Facebook already. Anyway, all my social media, I'll make sure I put that in the box, description box below. So you guys can go and follow me and follow my looks and get the, like, the full breakdown of everything that I have on my face today. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.